la foundation i'm so excited about today's topic it is all about finding your purpose who am i where am i going i need direction we all are in facing different kind of situations like that especially if you're in your teens late teens or early 20s mid 20s and all that stuff so i did a lot of research i tried to put everything into three r's so today we're gonna learn in a different way or i'm going to use these three r's to work uh to try and explain what i want to explain to you guys about how to find your purpose how to know where you stand in the world in your family and all that stuff so probably you're going through what i'm going through i need to know who i am i need to know where i'm going i need to know why i'm why i'm existing anyway and all that stuff so basically uh let's get right into it um so firstly uh you need to realize that you don't know your purpose the first thing you need to tell yourself the truth i am i don't know where i'm going i don't have direction most of us are facing that stage but you know we can't really tell people that you know i don't really know I, i'm just trying to figure everything out anyway if you're going through what i'm going through trying to find myself trying to find where i stand and all that stuff um first realize admit to yourself that i do not know um i don't know i i need to start knowing uh where i'm going who i am and all that stuff so the first step is to realize right so now that we have all realized that we're going through a, a phase where we're searching who we are and you know you don't want to be out of time and then you figure out like late late 20s you're like oh my god i'm in the same position and i i'm not going anywhere and all that stuff it's better you do it now it's better you start finding yourself now than later on there's no time better than today it's better you start doing it today so the first thing we're going to talk about is that since i've realized i need to know what i've been doing wrong right so i can be a better person so i can really so i'm ready to do whatever my pe my purpose is so i'm going to use james chap chapter 4 verse 2 to explain right um it says it's a bit harsh <laughs> i know but okay let's go you want what you don't have so you scheme and kill to get it you are jealous of what others have but you can't get it so you fight and wage war to take it away from them yet you don't have what you want because you don't ask god for it this is and then verse 3 says and even when you ask you don't get it because your motives are wrong and you want only what will give you pleasure so this is why we have been seeking and not finding this is why we think we're doing everything right but at the end of the day we don't have like results or anything like that so what's your motive right your motive has to be the best motive ever for you finding your purpose now why do you want to know who you are and where you stand if you know and if you have what you have been asking for be it a car be it a house is it going to glorify god that's the question that we all need to ask that's a million dollar question is my purpose or the things that i'm looking for right now is it going to glorify god how best am i going to repay god when i get to where i need to get right so because we're jealous because we're full of okay right now as teenagers or as people in the early 20s or mid 20s we know and we see things on instagram youtube and all that stuff and we see be it a hairstyle a car be it a jersey or a hoodie or whatever you want something like that and we use different kind of ways to get what we want and usually the ways are really not advisable or it's something that you cannot tell someone how you got something if you're a female basically we use our special tools to get certain things which is not the right way which is not the right motive at the end of the day because you getting that thing through a beast okay let's say i fornicate right and then by fornicating I get money to buy a Bible at the end of the day yes I bought something that's good but my what I did behind the scenes the scene all the secret that I have inside of me of getting whatever it is that I finally get at the end of the day I'm I still feel guilty inside my conscience is not clean 
Do you understand? So I need to find my purpose. When I find my purpose, I still want my conscience to be clean. I still want to be to stand and be like, yes, I'm a multi-billionaire. And because I worked hard and because God did it from, for me since day one, my conscience is clear. And when I spend, I spend it in a way that glorifies God. I help the needy. And when I party, I party in a way that I'm going to glorify God. And when people see me, they're not like, oh, another rich snob. Do you understand? So, um, you should our motive has to be the right motive in everything that you do make sure your heart is clean i had a vi i did recently i did a video of purity of mind and heart if you haven't watched it please do watch it you need to make sure that your prayer room which is your heart and your mind which is your the function of it literally makes everything function everything starts from your head for that to be for you to do the best thing or for you to be the best person for me to be the best hazel ever i need to have the purity of my mind and i need my heart to be pure so i can function well not only for myself but for god um it is also said if you if you are a constant reader of the word which is a good thing should be really proud about that if you are it always talks about being sober mind right um and i love how it talks about being sober mind because that is the time when you, you when you really are who you are do you understand where you feel i know there are a lot of people who say alcohol smoking drugs they always make me feel like you know i i'm 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 the real me blah 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 no those that's not you who you are when you're sober is who you really are and what you say when you're sober is really who you are and what you think and all that stuff that's why it's always it always specifies could you that person had a sober mind or they were they were in, in a sober uh, sense in whatever they're doing so you need that um purity of heart purity purity of mind always be at your, in a sober state so you make the right decisions so your conscience is always clean and you're not feeling guilty or you're not going again oh my god yesterday i did drugs i feel bad hangover and all that stuff and blah 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 so we all don't want that anyway let's go right back to our um second r which is repent now that i've realized that i don't know my purpose and now that i know that my motive was wrong now i have the best i have the right motive of wanting to know my purpose do you understand i need to repent as christians we do not stop repenting we repent every day because we sin every day most of us we see knowing we sin without even knowing so we always need to repent i'm going to do a video that's going to talk about generational curses and all these things some of you think that you know what i'm clean i don't sin and all that stuff maybe the scene was done a long time ago and it's in your blood and it's going on i'm going to explain fully about that don't you worry i got you um so yeah you need to repent we as christians or as children still trying to find out who we are where we stand and all that stuff we go through a lot of things in our lives we face different kind of situations in our lives and we don't really know where to go after i've done my scenes who's gonna love me who's gonna really see me as a as a good person after all that for so i need someone to always go i need someone to always motivate me i and we have a permanent person we have a permanent spiritual being which is god almighty even though you're bruised and broke and he is still there he, even though you're in pieces he's always there to give out a, a, a hand to you that's why we we when we ever we get into like bad situations have you ever been in like a really bad situation you know what's going on here really goes against god and everything let's say you're stealing or you're doing something and you're just like oh my god please god help me not to get caught blah 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 things like that situations like that we have all been in situations like that so that really shows you kitty god is always there for you no matter what and he loves you no matter what you're going through this morning a friend of mine was like um uh she, he was giving me an example and was like um the compassion that god has for us or the love that he has for us it's 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 too much it's amazing that just shows that he's not no more he's an extraordinary god because he gave me an example he's like uh, a teacher let's say you are told to ask to write um 
a composition about let's say a favorite day then you write out of topic and you start talking about like let's say favorite food and whatever you uh, a most english teachers are going to mark uh, let's say your language how you wrote presentation of work and all that stuff because they love you they're gonna start looking at other elements of or other elements that you did good in your in your composition right and maybe give you marks upon that um that's the same thing about god if because because he loves you so much even if you're out of topic he's still going to love you and show and show you that you know what to me, come to me, I'm going to help you in your time of need, even though you're doing sin, grace, because recently I, I did a, vis a video that talked about how the grace of God uh, brought us back to life, we're dead and sin, but now we are we are back alive again and we're going with Christ, he gave me the life, submit to him and everything, so because of that, it shows how much love God has for us. It's really time for us to repent. It's better you do it now before too much damage has been made. No matter how much you've gone through, I've gone through a lot of things. I'm going to testify and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to make a video about it. I've gone through so many things that people actually don't know, but I'm ready now to talk about it with you guys and share it and show how much God has transformed in my life and where he has put me right now and all the promises that he has given me to put me in a better place than where I am today. That's why I'm here and I started this uh, uh, foundation just so we can share the love of God together. That's why the slogan of this um of this foundation is letting love lead because of god's love i'm here because of god's love we're all here and he's always going to be for us the second r or the la the third r which is the last one is relationship you need to create a relationship with god now that i've realized that i don't know my purpose i don't know where i'm going god i need direction and i don't know who to run to i have a permanent person since day one, most of us, we we knew that every Sunday we were going to church. Our parents would drag us to church and you go for Sunday school and you'll be asked, what did you learn today or what did you learn today in the service? That's how most of, of us were brought up. Even though you were not brought up in such a way and you're in whatever you decided to be an atheist or a non-believer of anything or whatever it's okay but you know and you have heard about god and you have seen testimonies and miracles and all these things i think it's just enough for us right now um to do to those that are willing and that want to accept god in their lives today is the best day you can do it anytime you want to do it and it's great that we have the bible that is always teaching us we need to you need to have a bible be it in your phone whatever you have have a bible and um the best bible you can have is like a, a normal bible like the the pages one um i feel like it's the best one because like you know you don't really get notifications and all that stuff um when you're reading it and stuff and get maybe distracted anyway so relationship you need to create a relationship with god i've realized that i can't do this by myself because you have tried i have tried really guys to like find my own purpose to see where i'm going i've asked so many people in my life what do you think i can do i okay yes i can sing i can cook and all that stuff how can i put that all in one so i can be someone yes right now i'm doing a degree of tourism and travel and tourism how i got to doing travel and tourism is a testimony on its own which i'm going to share with you guys soon um but i need i needed a relationship with god and i'm very grateful for my parents that never stopped trying with me if you don't have anyone who can motivate you let me be your motivator let god take over your life and be the one who feeds in you and let him be the one who takes control and motivate you to do the right things um how to create a relationship with god guys i can't i can't explain it enough it is the best thing ever and you need to start we need to do this guys together but we also need to know what God says about, let's say, um, our lives or about every single person that he has created. Um, so we're going to get that from Romans chapter 12, verse 6. In his grace, 
the same grace that I talked about the last time that I said it has made us live again and dead from sin, right? Um, in his grace, God has given us different gifts. So everyone has a gift. This is a, this is not even a promise. Everyone has something they have. That's why when we are all born, we are all born with our hands like this. I'm holding on to something. That is enough grace. That is enough hope and faith that I have something. So because I'm holding on to something when I was born, God reminds me and says, because of my grace, I've, give, I've given you all different gifts, right? for doing certain things well so if god has given you the ability to prophesy speak out with as much faith as god has given you if your gift is serving others serve them well if you are a teacher teach well if your gift is to encourage others be encouraging it is if your gift is giving give generously if you if god has given you leadership ability take the responsibility take the responsibility seriously and you and if you have a gift for showing kindness to others do it gladly right so him telling us his children that he loved so much that he died on the cross and sinless spotless blood was shed just so i can be taken away from the curses of sin and secrets he still loves me and says, I have something, I have something I've put in you. I have a gift. There's something in me. I have a purpose. I have something that is boiling and burning inside me that needs to come out. But what's the first thing I need to do? I need to create a relationship with God. So for you to get wherever you want to go, you need connections. You need a relationship with God. That is the one that's going to connect you to your right purpose, connect you to the right people, connect you to the right everything that you need. I need to know my purpose. So I need to realize that I do not know my purpose. And when I realize I need to repent and give my life to God so he can take over. So the purpose that he put inside me can come out and so I can shine the way I have to shine. Let me do it the right way because I have God. I've tried to do it by myself, guys. I've really tried, but it's not working out. But I know that with God, I can do it because I've seen him doing it for others. But not only seen him doing it for others, he said he has put something inside me. I need that something that he put to come out. So since I can't do it by myself, I didn't put it in the first place. He put it so he's going to take care of it so today he's saying give your life to me so i can make sure that your purpose comes out through me so my name can be glorified at the end of the day it is all about jesus christ since day one it has always been about, about jesus christ you are here today and you are who you are today because of the love of god how many things have we done wrong how many things have we said how many things and people we have destroyed but he's still saying i love you just the way you are come to me i put something inside you that is burning and wants to come out come to me ask me to take over let's create that relationship God needs you to create the relationship with him. Um, as I'm about to finish, I'm going to use uh, Jeremiah 29. Most of us know it, but it's just a reminder. Um, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Uh, it says, where is it? Okay. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. And then he goes, to, he goes on to say, to give you a future and a hope. <sighs> In those days when you, are, when you pray, I will listen. If you pray, I will listen. He is listening to you. I don't need to go anywhere to pray. I can be sitting, waiting for the bus and I'll pray. I can be walking, I will pray. I can be sleeping and be praying. You think I'm lying? I've done it. I've, I've woken up. And found myself praying and I've woke or woken up and found myself singing 
it has happened to me so many times it is very possible you need that relationship relationship with god you need that you need that connection with god so when those ba- bad dreams and all those things that we face are because we are disconnected from the source you will face bad network or bad or poor connection because you're not connected you're not by the router you have to be in the range if you're not in the range you have to be right where the router is so you can be connected so you can you can have all the pleasures of whatever you want it's just like wi-fi guys if you're not in the range, how can you connect to it? How can you use it? How can you then open up the apps and everything that we need and all that stuff? That's just how it is. Be connected to it so you can... Guys, just try it. Just try to be connected to God. Just try. Let's just see how it works. And you tell me how amazing it is. It is great. It is... I can't even say it. Just try it. Just try it. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, if you look for me wholeheartedly, that is the relationship I'm talking about. And when I mean wholeheartedly, I mean every day, every hour, every second, no matter what you face, no matter what you're doing. God, I need a relationship with you. God, please. Okay. We have a problem of thinking that prayers should always be loud or whatever or the longest and I don't know, pouring of hearts, clapping of hands and all that stuff. No. No, we are different people. We have different gifts. That's why I'm Hazel. That's why you are whoever you are. We are all different. We pray in a different way. If your prayers are... God even said it. I don't need you to keep repeating stuff. I don't need... He doesn't want all that. I don't want you to be making noise and showing to people that you're you're prayerful and all that stuff. No, I don't want that. Be humble. Let me in. Right? When I'm inside, I'm going to speak for you. I'm going to show that I'm inside you. Your works are going to show. The work I'm going to do inside you is going to show that I'm with you. That's what it's all about. Prayers are simple. Say straightforward. Simple and straightforward. Right? Simple and straightforward. God, today, I want to start creating a relationship with you. Help me. Show me. Let don't let the devil take don't let the devil create a kingdom inside me you lord come inside create a home inside me take over that's what i want because i can see clearly i can't do it by myself since i can't do it myself i want to try and do it with you show me that i this is the path do you think god won't listen he even said it i will listen if you pray he just said it it's there He's going to listen to you. Just try it. Just do it. Reach out to him. I'm always saying this. Try. God just wants to see that you're trying to create a relationship. God wants you. Just show him that you're trying. God, I don't want this sinful nature anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to try and do this with you. That's all he's saying. So seek him wholeheartedly. And then it says, you'll find me. If you'll be found... By, oh sorry, I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes. Guys, we have lost so many things. I'm 21 and I feel like I've lost so many things already. Imagine when I get to 30 without God, how many things am I going to lose? By that time, will I still be the same? Will I still be the same flower? We all die without God we all face so many challenges and we can't hold on anymore there are days and nights you sit down by yourself and you're like really where am I going what am I doing but you can do it you can be a better you with God with Christ no matter it doesn't matter that you are bruised you're broken you are broken hearted you're facing different problems at home your parents are separated you are in a polygamist family or whatever it doesn't matter ask me to do it for you that's what god is saying let me take away that pain let me take away whatever it is that you're holding on 
guys i know how depression and anxiety feels like and i don't want that for for you i do not want that for you i have been through depression anxiety i know how that feels to it it's really caging but god saying come to me wholeheartedly come to me wholeheartedly i will restore you and return all your fortune and then i will gather you out of the nations where i sent you and will bring you home again to your own land this is i i don't know why but this part really touches me a lot because if i'm out there sinning and i'm doing all these things i always feel so much regret at the end of the day my conscience is unclean i just feel terrible and i just feel so low i'm not motivated anymore to do anything i'm not even motivated to look for my purpose or to realize certain things i can't realize a lot of things because i'm just crowded that's what the devil wants the devil always wants to crowd you so you can feel like oh my god i have this and this and this to do so i lose focus you understand but and then the sense of being home the sense of having everything is gone the sense of me feeling like i'm at peace you know the sense of being at home when you're home is just you know you're just like yeah I'm fine I'm chilled and all that stuff even your dressing is a bit snobby and you because you're in your habit and you you're great you're good he talks about it I'll bring you home don't you worry just come to me I'll I'll, I'll bring home to you don't you worry I'll, I'll bring you home don't you worry and he doesn't only say that to your own land my own land where I'm gonna prosper and succeed and everything i'm gonna build an empire because i'm home but after all this after all i've said about realizing your purpose repenting and creating a relationship with god i've learned a lot of things from this from just sitting and talking to you guys i hope you guys have learned something too and i would really like to take this time to thank you guys for subscribing thank you so much for the likes and take thank you for listening to my to me talking to you i hope i i, I don't i really hope i don't bore you guys to death um i hope we keep going and we keep teaching others teaching each other stuff I would really also appreciate it if you guys comment and maybe give me a few tips um, or something that you guys need me to improve or something that you need me to keep doing and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is all that I had for you today or what we both had to learn from each other today. So thank you very much guys for liking. See you next time.